Hello everyone. Denizens of Azeroth will be familiar with a race of walrus-like people that we know as the Tusker. These friendly folk usually live in small communities in North Rends, but a few of them have found a way to the inn and stopped by for a lovely game of Hearthstone. There are seven Tusker cards currently in Hearthstone, ranging from jousters to soup vendors and the ever illustrious refreshment vendor, but we'll get back to him in just a bit. As I mentioned before, Tusker, or Kaluak, as they say in their language, they're usually found in Northrends, going as far back as Warcraft 3. You can find them farming penguins, luring turtles to ferry them around, and generally just being nice guys, fishing and minding their own business. Some Tusker, however, have a little bit more adventure in their bones, and they head out of Northrends. We meet one such adventurous Tusker, Trawler Yotomo, in Angler's Wharf in the Kresarang Wilds, when you mention that he is quite away from home. He mentions that he quite likes this warm weather, and he thinks this new climate would work out great for him. Which shows us that some Tusker, they're born for adventure, with some even appearing in Borellis and Zandalar. Tusker are pretty simple folk, and have a great love for the sea and for fishing. Their communities, they almost always appear near the coast, or certainly around bodies of water. The mystic Tomkin, who is a sort of village elder, can be found in Ulupe in the Borean Tundra. And if you sit down to listen to his tales, you'll learn quite a few things about our friends. The main thing to appreciate is that the Tusker see their place on the shore and their relationship with the sea as something more than just convenience. It is sacred to them. The Tusker who according to Mystic Tompkin, have been here for sunsets beyond counting, rely on both the sea and their land for their food, eating all kinds of fish from the sea and shovel tusks, a large moose sort of creature native to Northrends. They are a nomadic people, forming tribes, and you can often tell which tribe a particular tusker belongs to by the carvings on their tusks. These tribes move around, setting fishing routes on the southern coast of Northrends, looking for fishing spots throughout the year, and these routes are marked by giant carved stone statues in the image of a tusker. The tusker need transports if they're going to travel and occasionally venture out into the water to fish, and the transport that they settled on is the turtle boats. Turtles with decks mounted on top of their shells and steered with the use of a fishing pole, dangling a couple of carrots in front of their hungry mouth. Seeing how important fishing is, not only for living, but also culturally to the Tusker, it is no surprise that they're all very good at it, and have been known to catch some of the biggest and meanest creatures living in the frigid seas, including whales and giant squid. As to the question where they come from, we don't really know. They've been here as long as we could remember, quietly living their lives within their small tribes. Bram Bronzebeard did have a theory that the Tusker could have been evolved from a walrus ancient, but that idea, it doesn't seem to have gotten very far. Their past remains a mystery, at least for now, but if we look at the future for the Tusker, we can already see that they've arrived in Borellis and his Andalar. Perhaps this could mean a potential allied race. We haven't really heard anything saying that they couldn't be, nor have we heard anything suggesting that they will be. Time will tell. But the Tusker, they're pretty peaceful and placid for the most part, and are usually seen as neutral when it comes to faction. This just isn't their war to fight. To get the Tusker to make sense as an allied race, it would require some more grounds to work with than some of the other races, but we never know what the future might bring. And to bring it back to the topic of Hearthstone, the Tusker have actually been playing the game. Since cards like the Tusker Jouster, it appeared in the Grand Tournament in 2015. This Tusker wandered into the wrong place, thinking that he was in a fishing tournament, decided to stay around all the same, and could not be talked out of using his chipper little turtle mount to use in the tournament. Upon entering the battle, this guy will reveal a card from your hand and your opponent's hand, and if your card costs more, your hero gets 7 health restored. Joining his fellow Tusker in the Grand Tournament, there was the Tusker Totemic. He is just as happy to be helping out, and it turns out that the Tusker aren't really picky when it comes to their totems. He used to be able to summon a Flame Tongue Totem, a Totem Golem, or a Manatai Totem amongst the standard totems. After this was found to be a little bit too powerful, he will now either summon a Healing, Searing, Stone Claw, or Air Totem. And it hasn't just been the adventurous, friendly Tusker who made their way into the Innkeeper's Tavern. And it's hard to imagine any of these warm, cheerful Tusker could ever turn bad. But some Tusker, 
who were more likely to offer you a beatdown than a funnel cake, they joined the game in the mean streets of Getchistan expansion. You gonna sleep with the fishes. The mean street marshal is a tusker with an attitude problem and a giant gun. According to him, that shiny sheriff's badge on his shirt, it should also remind you that this guy is the boss, and all bribes are to be paid to him. It's the law, at least according to him, although he cost one to play onto the field. It appears he may have forgotten how to fire that big gun of his, because he has just one attack and two health. His death rattle needs his attack to be buffed to activate it, but if you get his attack up to two or higher, you will draw another card when he dies. One for the boss? Two for me. <laughs> the Blubber Baron is another Tusker who swapped Halibut for Havoc and joined the game in the mean streets of Gatchistan. This Tusker may be the most unfriendly one of the bunch, because his card text it tells us the reason behind his name. It says, When oil, railroad, steel, rubber and red are all already taken, your options are limited. Now this can either mean that he's called the Blubber Baron because he's got a whole lot of blubber being a Tusker, or because the particular commodity that he deals in is, well, blubber. It's probably best not to think about it. Regardless of how he got his name, this Tusker does mean business. Although he starts out as a 1-1 card, he will gain 1 health and 1 attack every time that you play a Battlecry minion. If you summon his fellow Mean Streets of Gadgetstone card, the Double Gangster, whose battle cry summons two copies of itself, the Baron will then gain free health and free attack, making him quite a force to be reckoned with early on in the game. In 2017, with the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion, we had another Tusker join the fun, the Tusker Fisherman. With the Tusker's love of fish, it isn't unusual to see a Tusker Fisherman. But what is unusual about this one, however, are his glowing blue eyes. His flavor text tempts you with a pretty awful deal. Bring him 500 fish and he will give you his sweet Kaluak fishing pole, which you could ultimately just buy as a Mastercraft version for 100 gold from a Tusker Quarter Master. This probably explains why I wasn't able to cut it as a fish merchant and has sought out his luck elsewhere. The fact that he shouts out, Smelly fish! Yummy fish! When you play him, should also show you that regardless of his little chef's hat, you really don't want to go to his house for dinner. Despite his business model, the fisherman can come in quite handy with two attack and two health, and his battle cry is going to give a friendly minion one extra spell damage. We do see that another Tusker attempted to make his way to Hearthstone with the Knights of the Frozen Throne expansion. Though he is perhaps just as smart as his friend the Tusker Fisherman, because in the card art for the Cryostasis cards, we can see that he's been frozen in a block of ice. His card says that we'll fall him when we get a cure, but if he's anything like the last free Tusker, we perhaps it'd be best if we left him in there. There's plenty to go around. The latest addition to our Tusker Hearthstone family. That is the soup vendor from Rastakan's Rumble. This enterprising Tusker was serving hot steaming soup at the arena. With the usual funnel cake vendor gone, it seems there was a gap in the market, and that gap could be filled with the soup. Just don't mind the unidentifiable chunks. No soup for you! This happy soup seller has 4 health, 1 attack, and will draw cards whenever you heal your hero for 3 or more. Funnel cakes! Get your funnel cakes here! And as promised earlier, no discussion of the Tusker Hearthstone would be complete without the infamous refreshment vendor who joined us all the way back in the Grand Tournament set. He is ready to serve brave participants of the tournament and feed the masses with carrots, popcorn, your monger steak, and of course, the best-selling funnel cakes. Funnel cakes! This Tusker, who, when played, will heal each hero by four points, will loudly exclaim, Funnel cake! Funnel cake! Funnel cake! Funnel cake! Funnel cake! Funnel cake! He is something of a minor celebrity, and his childlike glee for funnel cakes is becoming a running joke into the game, with mentions of it being found in a ton of expansions and adventures. For example, we see page 6 of the Gadgetstan Express, from the mean streets of Gadgetstan, that has an article on the completely fair and not at all biased investigation on the tasty funnel cakes sold by the Tusker Bros. In Whispers of the Old Gods, the Undercity Huckster will, when summoned, offer you an illicit deal and ask you Hey, hey, do you want to buy a funnel cake? 
In Journey to Anguro, the Devil's Sword X flavor text tells us that it's a key ingredient in all this kerning funnel cake recipes. And even Jin get in on the action with the flavor text of the benevolent Jin from Cobalt and Catacombs. It reads, wish number one, funnel cake. Wish number two, funnel cakes. Wish number three, funnel cakes. There are plenty of other examples that we'll leave for you to discover. For now though, these are the Tusker, who along with their finest funnel cakes made it into Hearthstone, and hopefully they'll be joined by more soon. That does bring us to the end of the video. So as always, thank you very much for watching everyone. If you have any suggestions for cards to cover in the future, by all means let us know in the comments down below. You can also subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and until next time... Funnel